Welcome back everybody to a new video. My name is Justin Marker and today we are looking at taking the old PS4 hard drive and putting it into the PS3. Let's get into it, shall we? So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to hop into Google and type in PS3 firmware because we want to get the past update that's on PS3. So you just want to go to the PlayStation uh, website and it's going to bring you to a page that looks somewhere like this. And just click on that downloads button. You have to see you can scroll down and there's another downloads button as well. And then you want to grab a flash drive, uh, a clean one, completely take everything off of it just to be safe and have a folder that's PS3, all caps. And then within that folder, is what we're gonna do. You don't wanna have saved data, just remove that. Um, but we wanna do all caps again, update. Just spell out update, all in caps. And then inside that, we wanna paste the file that we just downloaded from the website in it. Uh, and it's gonna have its own name. Don't change anything else there. So again, just to reiterate, a PS3, then update, and then the file in the flash drive. And that, that should be all good. So here we have a PS4. We've already removed the hard drive. You can look up an IGN video of removing the hard drive. It's pretty straightforward. That's what I did. Um, and the old hard drive is 500 gigabyte hard drive. So that's gonna really improve the PS3's hard drive. So this is the fat PS3. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's more like a space heater as some might call it. And that's the hard drive. I put it back in the bag of what we got the original hard drive in just because, uh, just to keep it safe from static and what we want to do is we want to turn it to the side where the panel is on the on the on the left side and it took some time for me to pry it open uh, i just used the screwdriver that i was using as you can see i'm struggling a little bit but what we want to do is just pry that open and take it out and as you can see there's the hard drive with the one screw the blue playstation screw that they have in there so what we want to do is just remove that and save that, put that aside for later. And we don't want to lose any of the screws because that's really bad. And so what the hard drive basically is, it's inside like a chassis. Sometimes it could be very dusty in there. So also when you pull it out, you want to clean it if it's really dusty. I was lucky and it wasn't. Um, yeah, so we can just pull that out and you want to remember of how you put it in. Okay, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but you could mess it up a little bit. Um, and more so you want to remember how the hard drive is placed in there because that's the most important part. Um, so as you can see, there's four screws, two on each side, and you want to unscrew these. Now, I found it actually very difficult to unscrew these. Um, I actually had to get a power drill, a uh, little tidbit on that one. So, so once we remove the four screws, we want, yep, all four screws are finally removed, as you can see. And again, put them aside, keep them safe. And we want to just remove it. And again, we want to remember where we put that hard drive, sliding it out. We want the labels up, and we want the prongs facing outward. Um, so again, turn it around, see it. And you also want to make sure you got the correct hard drive. It wants to be basically a laptop hard drive, a 2.5 inch um, hard drive. And you want to just like slide that back in and line it up with the holes so we can again screw the screws the screws back in correctly. You don't want them at a weird angle or anything. Just how you got it pulled out, you want to put them back in in that way. So grab your screwdriver, put the screws in place. These ones are a little fidgety. Um, they're very small and are very tiny holes. They don't really go in really well. So again, stay patient, stay calm. Just put, put the screws in and screw them all the way in and put them in tight because well, I don't think we're going to be replacing the hard drive anytime soon. If you're going from a 40 gigabyte hard drive to a 500 gigabyte hard drive. So you can put that 40 gigabyte hard drive to the side now and bring over our console because we're going to put it back in. And this, this is basically the last hurrah of hardware. So again, just slide it right in really easy. And we want to make sure that hole all lines back up. And then we want to grab the screw, the PlayStation blue screw, uh, and just screw it back in. I found it easier just to put it in there a little bit and screw it a bit and then it fits snug. Easy peasy. So you just want to screw that in, tighten it all up, and then we'll just put that cover back on and it will be good to go. The next is just software problems, or not problems, but just software. So pop that right back on there just like that, a little snug fit, and we're good to go. So now we want to plug it in, plug the power in, plug the HDMI cable. 
So now that it's close up, again, we plugged it all in and we want to hold down the start button three times to hear three beeps and it's going to turn itself off. So that's the second beep and that's the third beep. And so the light's going to turn red again. And so we're going to do that again, three, hold it down for three beeps. And now for the third beep, we're going to hear more than one beep. So that's the second beep. And once you hear that, let go. And this will boot into safe mode. So just basically do what it tells you on the screen. Now, what I prefer is plug in that flash drive with the software in right now. So you're a step ahead. And then plug the USB cable with your um, controller connected to it and press the PlayStation button. And so now you're going to have all these options. You just want to go down to number five, uh, restore your PS3 system. And it's pretty straightforward. So you're going to have to use, you can't use the analog buttons. Uh, yes, you want to format them, so you have to use the um, the keypad. And this basically will remove all that data on the PS4 old hard drive, format it correctly, and put it back in. And so again, you want to just keep that um, USB cable put in and just press the start button as well. And I'll show you this screen, and this is to initiate the, the startup. So you want to press start and select at the same time. And if you have that flash drive plugged in, Oh, I'm so sorry. If you have that plugged in, then you'll be on your way. And so now it's going to start loading up um, and formatting, and it's going to switch to this, this one, and it's going to. You're going to be waiting a lot longer than you're seeing, and then you're going to just use the arrow to go to your to the right, accept it, because of course we've all totally read that. Hit X to enter, and it's going to start installing the update as well. And now, now you're pretty much done. Now we just wait um, till the bar gets to, to 100%. And you're gonna see weird things like this. Just press, just tell, do what it's instructing you to do. Press that PS button on the controller. But now you're pretty much finished. It's just gonna go back into initialize setup. Um, I would recommend um, just switching the display back to 1080p resolution. You can do that once you complete the setup or you can do it now. Um, but other than that, you're good to go. Just follow the instructions and you're on your way. Thank you all for watching. Like the video if you like it. Dislike the video if you dislike and please tell me your thoughts were in the comments down below. Also when you're down there, tell me if you like this new setup or what video I should do next. Anyways, cheers guys.